Hey guys, it's Adam here, and welcome to Sunday here on Vlogging Life. I don't know why I'm holding the camera weird. Because I had this bowl in my other hand. Anyway, I made a video on Thursday, Friday, somewhere around there, where I uh, went out and picked myself up something for the summer. But I decided not to use that video because I revealed some personal information in there that I didn't want on the internet. But I can show you what I got. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, Adam, it won't work, it won't work. But you know what? We're going to give her a try. They had these on sale at Canadian Tire Gravity Feed Spray Guns. 0 0.6 liters, 4 CFM, 3 horsepower. I don't have the horsepower requirements, but I do have the CFM requirements, so we'll see what we can do. We'll give her a try. If we can only do one panel at a time, we'll only do one panel at a time. And the reason being is I'm thinking about tackling the spray paint job on the Trans Am myself. Now, some of you would say, Adam, get it professionally done. Get it professionally done. Don't fuck around and ruin it because you're going to ruin it. Blah, blah, blah. Car's a classic. Yada, yada, yada. What a, what a bling bling. Well, you know what? Honestly, even if the car is a classic, it actually depreciated in value because of its age, like by a lot. Like, right now the car is maybe, like in its current state, it's maybe worth $1,500 to $2,000. If I had a brand new paint job on it, all cleaned up, with the current mileage, being that uh, it's not completely factory original, I'd maybe get five grand for it. Maybe. And that's aiming high. It's a third gen. It's the Camaro and Trans Ams of the hair metal era. Or the, um, what is the word I'm looking for? The mullet era. That's the word I'm looking for. They don't hold their value that well. Some of them do. Some of them that have been, you know, restored and, and or actually kept in pristine shape. They're worth something. But a lot of the times people overlook that generation and go right to the generation prior, the Smokey and the Bandit generation, or even further back to the, um, you know, the old 60s and 70s, like, I mean, early 70s, not late 70s. So they don't really look at the 80s, because let's face it, the 80s was a dicked year for those things. Like, they put a four-cylinder in them. They had a, a 2.5 liter Iron Duke four-cylinder that put out 103 horsepower. They put a 2.8 liter V6 in them. They put a, a 5 liter throttle body injected V8. They had like so many different engine packages, it was ridiculous. You know, the, the 305 with the crossfire, as I like to call it, the ceasefire injection. They had the uh, 305 throttle body, 305 tune port, 305 uh, LT1. So it was like, and the 350, sorry, the 350 LT1, not 305. Um, they had a 350 tune port as well, but it would have issues at wide open throttle of delivering enough fuel to the system to keep it running. But it's, it's one of those eras of the cars where nobody gives a shit. So it's like, quit treating it like it's some Ferrari, and why not use it to learn some stuff? You know, learn how to do paint, learn how to do better body work. I already understand the concepts of body work, so now I'm going to give it a rip. We're going to try out that gun, uh, probably in the warmer weathers. It's pretty cold right now to even consider it, uh, but it should be okay. Uh, I have, like I said, I have the CP CFM requirements. I'll just have to go, and uh, like when I'm painting, I'll have to do panel by panel. Let the tank recharge panel, tank recharge panel, tank recharge panel. You go from there. But I think a lot of the work is going to be prepping. So that's one thing I need to do is get the garage completely cleared out which means I gotta sell that blower I gotta sell that motorcycle gotta get all that shit out of there so I have more room in there to hustle and flow but uh, yeah made myself some chicken so I'm gonna go eat some chicken and go from there anywho people I need to uh, well what I want to do is go drop off my empties and then take a rip over to shoppers Get some more vegetable glycerin. On the way back, stop off at the gas station, fill up my jerry can with fuel, and then we gotta hit the end of the driveway. So, let's pitter patter. Alrighty. 
onward to the beer store, then the gas station, put the jerry can in the box of the truck, wedged it in the snowbank. Ah, I need to figure out how people carry things like that in the box of their truck, like jerry cans and propane tanks and shit, because I got two propane tanks that need to be reloaded. And, well, right now in the winter, it's not too bad. I can make a little... Okay, that just sounds like Rick and Morty all over again. Hey, like Rick's spacecraft. Yeah, sorry about that, people. Uh, I got uh, all the New Year's bottles coming back with me. All those... Uh, and a couple cases of JR. So needless to say, I expect the Mount Friggin' beer bottle here to topple over and make a mess in my truck real soon. Especially if this fucking idiot in the soul decides to dart in front of me and I gotta mash the brakes. Nope, there's nobody in that car. They just parked like an idiot. Oh, it must be a Kia thing. You gotta be stupid enough to buy one. It must be just dumb when you drive it. But anyway. I digress. Yeah, I used to use this thing called the snow job to clean the, the truck, but you know what? Nothing works better than a brush. The snow job's nice and all, but because of its size, it's just too awkward to get to places like where the wipers are and other locations, like the license plate, because of its size and yeah, the brush works so much better. So I decided to retire the snow job. Cool concept, but. TBH, it's kind of stupid. But, uh, yeah, out of the other video that I deleted, there was a couple scenes in there. Well, you already seen the one with the paint gun, so that's something I picked up. And the other one was, um, as I was coming back from, uh, from Canadian Tire, I decided to take the highway route because I wanted to pick up a case of beer for that night. It was Saturday, Friday, Saturday, somewhere around there, Thursday. I can't remember when I filmed that. But, uh, yeah, it was Friday. It was Friday. Anyway, I wanted to uh, go get a case of beer so that we could have some beers with uh, PUBG that night. When I was coming back, and just, oh man, that fucking top case is gonna topple any second now. Jesus Murphy. But, um, just over to the right here by the mall, this white sports car was leaving the mall, just goosing her. Wub, 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 all street racer style. Drift King to the max. And he came out of there completely sideways, like, completely free. Oh, and there she goes. There she goes. Right up here at this intersection. A guy comes out and he's just straight up drifting. I got the video footage. I'll show that here. But like he's straight up drifting the corner and I'm like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Like, what the hell's like you got like seriously big balls because right where I am coming up, like right now. Okay, we're not right now, but right now where I am parked. In three, two, one, right now was a cop car. North Bay City Kitty. Sitting right here, watching this guy right sideways do a perfect drift into the passing lane. And he didn't even do a thing. Didn't even care. He's like, whatever. What are you going to do? And it's like, well, you're probably right. What are you going to do? Like, not going to really chase after him. But it's like, man. That's kind of dangerous behavior to be exhibiting while uh, on a day like that because it was like fresh snow. It was, it was a flash freeze we had. Because Thursday it rained, it was plus 8. And then overnight it dropped down to minus 12. And then Friday it was minus 20. That's right, it was on Friday because that's, yeah. So basically underneath the light powdered snow that we did get was pure glare ice. So it's kind of a dangerous uh, procedure to exhibit or to initiate in a crowded area like that mall intersection where there's people pretty much everywhere at any given time. I don't know. Kind of stupid. Like, save the racing for the tracks, people. It's safer that way. But anyway, 
I'm at the beer store here, so I'm gonna bring my empties in, get rid of these, and then uh, head over to Shoppers Drug Mart, which is right in front of me, pick up some glycerin for e-juice, and then um, gonna head her home. Well, I know go get gas and then head her home. Then strap on some gloves and boots, and let's get the driveway did. All right, bitter fatter. At the end of the driveway, that's dicked. Park the truck on the side of the road. I'm gonna grab the blower and hit it. I just want my gloves first. What I think I might do is cut up the side here and blow that over. Yeah, let's do it. Got in the house, took off my shoes, took off my jacket. Only to realize that I forgot to do one more thing. Let's take the gas out of the truck and put it in the garage. I didn't need to fill up the uh, blower. It was already full, but I knew the jerry can was empty. Yeah, never a good time being caught without gas when you need it most. Because you never know when that blizzard's coming. Also, while we're out and about on Friday, I picked up two of these, I already cooked one. I'm gonna cook this one tonight. It's gonna be epic. Back! What are you doing? Scampers. Scampers. What are you doing? Scampers. 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 She probably doesn't miss that one bit. Hey, anywho, I left the ribs out uh, to get them down to a room temperature to make them easier to cut. Because that's what I want to do now. I want to cut them up because they won't fit in the air fryer that big. So, what I normally do is cut them up into two or three bones per thing and then drive them in the air fryer and blast them. So that's how I'm going to do. So we'll let that air fry. And that should be done in about uh, half an hour. Not even. And then uh, come downstairs and we'll put it into a plate and uh, go and have some dinner. Should be good. Gotta love air frying some ribs. Anyway, people, I'm gonna eat. Probably play some PUBG tonight with Chuch. Get to bed, because tomorrow I gotta work. Yay, work! So, um, I'm gonna shut her down here. So thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, leave your questions, comments, concerns down below. And until next time, keep on vlogging.